Today, I'm here to talk to you about some amazing college essay ideas if you want to major in science and stand out among other future STEM majors. As a high school teacher, I've read lots of drafts of college essays in my time. I've written lots of recommendation letters, I've talked to lots of college counselors, and I've watched a lot of YouTube and TikTok on this topic. So I'm pretty much an expert. Just kidding. Your most important and useful resource in your college application journey is going to be your college counselor at your school. They know you, they have connections to colleges and universities, and they have way more information than I do. But if you're up late at night, feeling a little overwhelmed, and you don't know where to start, you've come to the right place. You've probably heard your essay is supposed to be unique and stand out, but you have no idea how to do that, especially among the thousands of other applicants who are going to have identical resumes as you and may want to study the exact same scientific topics as you. I'm looking at you pre-meds. In this video, I'm going to give you some amazing ideas for college essay ideas that'll help you stand out from the crowd in 650 words or fewer. These ideas are perfect for future science majors and they will help show colleges why you are a perfect fit for them. I promise you'll find at least one idea or tip that'll help you write an amazing college essay. So when I start out with a few side notes. One, if you're thinking of majoring in science or a STEM field, you don't have to write about science. You actually are encouraged to write about something other than science because hopefully your resume and your activities will speak toward your scientific interests. Also, your letters of recommendations from science teachers will be helpful for that. But if you're going for a scholarship or a specific program, or you do really want to showcase your love and passion for science because that is what you are passionate about and it's an important part of who you are, then do it. But I just want to let you know that plenty of Harvard and Columbia and other Ivy League college students who've gotten in with successful essays have talked about their own quirky interests or, or favorite TV show characters or their family traditions. One student even talked about how they were really obsessed with Pikachu and they had a gotta catch them all mentality and that's the essay that got them into Harvard. Second, Communication is key. No matter what topic you're writing about, you're going to have to write in a clear writing style because communicating scientific ideas is important no matter what field that you're in. Your writing skills are almost, if not more important than the actual content of your essay. And remember, flowery language does not equal good writing. You don't have to write in a bunch of crazy metaphors and similes and thesaurus words in order to get into the college of your dreams. So let's get into it. If you're applying to college in the United States, you've most likely heard of the Common App and its standard essay prompts. I'm not going to read through them, but I'm going to link them below and put them on screen here. These are the common app college essay topics that you can choose from. I'm going to boil them down into in like one to two word descriptions. So the first one is our meaningful who am I about a background interest, identity, or talent. Second one is about overcoming an obstacle. The third one is about challenging a belief of yours. The fourth one is about when you were surprised or surprising gratitude. The fifth one is about personal growth. The sixth one is about something that sets you in a flow state where you lose track of time, something you're really passionate or even obsessed with. And then seventh is the free topic. And several sources I found say that this is the most popular topic that students choose on the common application. So literally anything in your life could fall into any one of these categories, which sometimes is less helpful than actually saying, okay, you have to write about a particular topic. But you can integrate STEM or science topics into each of these essays. And I'm gonna give you some ideas for how to do that. So more than what you know or how rich you are, what fancy internship you have, if you demonstrate science and engineering practices, things like asking questions, or planning and carrying out investigations, representing data, communicating information. If you can represent those practices within your essay or somehow weave them into your topics, that is a great way to demonstrate that you are a strong science student. So let's relate each of these to a generic science topic. So the meaningful Who Am I essay, you could connect to your family heritage and talk about DNA and genetics. Maybe there's a particular trait or something that you're really proud of and within your family that you can connect back to genetics. Maybe you have a really strong interest in dogs, you love your dog, and you can connect that to veterinary sciences or artificial selection. Even better, if you have like a weird pet lizard and you wanna talk about herpetology or just some really interesting reptile adaptations, go for it. On that vein too, for your identity, you can pick a weird or strange animal that you're really interested in, talk about its adaptations or its interesting characteristics and connect your life to that animal's unique traits while demonstrating your knowledge of classification and taxonomy. If you want to lean into the nerd label, which is not necessarily a bad thing, you can talk about how you're passionate about science fiction and integrating real science with the fantasy or science fiction worlds that you've been really passionate about since you were younger. If you have any talent that's related to a STEM field, maybe you memorized hundreds of digits of pi for a competition. Maybe you have a movie making YouTube channel. Maybe you're a speed cuber. Maybe you're really good at building card houses and you can relate that to engineering. 
but you can also take something that you spend a lot of time doing, even if you're not particularly talented in it, say Science Olympiad, and talk about how it's been a part of your identity throughout middle school or high school, and talk about the failures that you've encountered along the way, and what's made you try even harder. For overcoming an obstacle, you can describe a time when you faced a hard problem in science class and you struggled, and explained how you overcame the challenge and learned from the experience. You want to be vulnerable but not overly dramatic. Think about a failed project or experiment. The bigger failure, the better. You could talk about a medical problem that's been present in your family or within your own life that has inspired you to become a doctor. I will say that this is a very typical essay, so unless you have a pretty unique spin on it, you may want to stay away from this topic unless you feel like you can really pull it off. You can talk about that big internship that you had where you made a big mistake. Maybe you messed up the data or something wasn't going the way that you planned. That's a big part of science is failure. Maybe you don't have a huge failure, but maybe you have a creative way of finding solutions. Maybe you got a friend's drone stuck in a tree and you want to write about that situation where you had to brainstorm creative ideas to fix the problem. It doesn't have to be a huge event in life or have very high stakes in order for you to represent who you are and your scientific skills. You can even relate burning cookies that you made to chemistry. Challenging belief is pretty interesting when you relate it to science. Maybe you learned about some topic in biotechnology that you'd never heard of or really understood, and you reframed how you thought about that after you did a really cool experiment in class or went on a field trip. Maybe you learned about an invasive species, or you have a new take on a particular pest or something that's related to your environment and the area you grew up in. Maybe you felt like you wanted to make a difference in your community, but learned that recycling actually wasn't going as well as you thought it was in your school or your church or you decided to take a stand on a topic that you didn't even realize was a problem. For the surprising gratitude one, again, lean into the struggle and talk about a science teacher or a mentor who's really helped you through a challenging time. Then relate it back to how you improved your own skills and scientific knowledge. Maybe you're grateful because a teacher stayed back to help you with a, a tough experiment, and then you paid it forward the next year by helping other students in the same class. For personal growth, overcoming a fear of public speaking is a very common college essay topic, but you could do it with a twist. For example, you could talk about a time when there was a big event, maybe a competition, maybe a big project, and you had to overcome the fear of public speaking, and you did it, and you're great, and you're proud of yourself, but you still lost the competition. Or maybe you didn't get the grade that you wanted, but you instilled a really powerful sense of self-confidence. Maybe you learned how to work in teams when you're really usually a lone wolf. And reminder, teamwork is a big part of the scientific process, so lean into that. Maybe you learned how to use data or taught yourself how to code in order to solve a problem. Maybe you learned how to fix something from a YouTube video. Show off those skills. There are lots of great ways to interweave science into the next topic, the flow state, or it's something that you're really passionate about and you lose time over. Think about something you've stayed up at night that you're obsessed about or even a book series that you're obsessed with. Maybe you love reading medical thrillers, or you found a way to integrate technology into something that you really loved. For the free topic, you can lean into so many different scientific ideas, something in the news, ethical issues, advancements, whether or not you think you'd be a good fit for Mars. But whatever it is, make sure you relate it to you and don't just write an essay about ethics. Think about what the result was and what change happened to you. And I know, if you're thinking, my life is boring, I have absolutely no stories, it's okay. Even if you feel like you haven't done anything amazing or you don't have any cool internship stories or problems that you've ever solved, some of the best college essays are really just describing a moment in time and creating a really clear picture for the college admissions officers. For example, think about a lab you did with some really visceral memories. How did that worm feel in your hands? Why do you keep an old paperclip chain that you always twirl around when you're studying your physics problems? Think about objects that have important significance to you. Maybe after an experiment, you can think of a metaphor that's, you know, a little bit cringe, but relatable to you and say something like, oh, we're all just isopods wandering around in our choice chambers, trying to make our way to the side with the fruit. Again, cringe metaphor, but you get where I'm going. It's okay to romanticize the details of your average life too, as long as you have a good story to tell and something that can show the admissions officers who you are. There were a million better ideas I could have written about in my college essay, but one I do remember was writing writing about finding a dead shark on the beach and linking that to my curiosity and my passion for science. You also want to come up with an opening line that is concrete and surprising. You want to hook the reader to with an idea that they probably hadn't thought of before. You want to make them stop and think, what? What are they going to say next? 
There's a whole list of don'ts too, but I wanted to start you off with some ideas because sometimes just hearing the don'ts can feel a little constraining. But if you like this video, let me know and I'll make more. And lastly, my final tip, even though it might be fun to generate ideas, please do not get AI to write your college essay because I guarantee you there's gonna be hundreds of other students doing the exact same thing and then you're not gonna stand out at all. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a like if it's been helpful and I'll see you later.